السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. It is was it Monday Tuesday, the twenty third of August two thousand and sixteen. I'm uh, just leaving uh, Department of uh, Social Services, the Anaheim office, Kramer, and uh, couldn't do anything. Well. I did the facts. Uh, couldn't get to a, well. I got to my Google. Uh, anyway, got to my email and everything. Right? I yeah. I tried to use the Google Translate. <laughs> that was a joke. It took me 40 minutes to write a couple of paragraphs, translate it, because I want to send it to, you know, uh, to someone. And then I come out and here, there is one here, a helicopter right there, right there, and there is one over there hovering over uh, far away. I don't know if you can see it or not. Uh, you see... Oh, I don't know what was that. But you see... I don't know what uh, the FBI is doing. I don't really... And is it the FBI of Orange County or the state of California or the federal government? Uh, they could not... Go, go, go ahead, go ahead. Could not get away with the crimes. They could not uh, trigger my, uh, you know, by the disappearance of my wife and my son Hamza, because I, I, until now I don't believe anything that anyone said, because it all sounds like it's uh, crimes and. Uh, yeah. So, again, I don't know what the federal government is doing. Where is the FBI? Who is going to explain to me and justify all these crimes taking place? Not only against Mohammed Shaban, millions of others. In a daily basis, daily basis, I found out that the state is the most villain. The state is frauding and committing crimes against everyone and everything. And the federal government doing the same. And they just, they, it's unbelievable, unbelievable. And they intensify, they justify every crime in the book against anyone that will dare take a stand and protest and uh, bring it to their attention that these are heinous crimes against humanity. Heinous crimes against humanity. Uh, that's it. And I wanted again to remind the Department of Justice that we, why are we switching things? 
I'm diversing from the main, main theme, main theme, which is the federal government. I filed two lawsuits against the federal government. First one was against the Social Security Administration, and they tried to do it as against the judge, and I make it clear to the attorney, which I fired, which now they, uh, anyway, Social Security, no, the federal government know exactly what they're doing. And then the second one was against the federal government for being complacent about all these crimes that's committed by the state, fraud and everything else, killing and raping and drugging and everything just to place them in the system as a revolving account. And there is no one immune, no one immune or spared. Now, let's uh, look at the international crimes against humanity namely the fund our tax payers money that is going to the zionist international terrorist organization that terrorizing actually the whole globe hijack everything and the united states of america keep financing i don't know how many billions and arming this terrorist group, Zionist terrorist group, that committing crimes even against the United States of America, against the American people, and the government. And the government has no power to, you know, to deter or stop them. Now, the other thing that's very important is, what about the copyright and the crimes that's been committed for the last three centuries against the Ummah Muhammad, stealing all all the technology that they enjoying from Dar al Alum. The house of knowledge. We wanted our copyright. We wanted the oil revenue. We wanted restorations or uh, restitutions for all these heinous crimes against humanity. Not only against Ummati Muhammad, but against everywhere that the United States of America has participated and commit crimes all over the globe. We need answers. We need answers. Okay? The Institute of Southland, the American Muslims, is taking the federal government to international The Hague or whatever for, for crimes against the humanity and paying back and uh, you know, they're gonna be bankrupt i promise you you're gonna be bankrupt and the saudis and the inner face and care and don't care no one is gonna come to aid you because they are they are a participant in all these heinous crimes against humanity by allowing and selling our deen and uh, participating in, on all these crimes, fraud, and committing crimes against everyone. Very much indeed like the governments everywhere. Uh, everywhere, not only in the Middle East or the uh, Ummati Muhammad, but everywhere. All right, that's it. Thank you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestow mercy upon humanity. Last note, answers, FBI. Where are my children? All of them, including Hamza Shaban. What happened to my son? Where are they? Why Suzanne and 
Sumeya, because they are the, the two miners in South Carolina. Where are they? Why they are still there? Where is their mom? What happened to her? My wife. That we got married in June 11, 1994 in the state of Florida. We never got divorced. Where are they? Where are they? Where is her money from my social security? Where is our federal tax money that the federal government and the state of California has been conning me, my children, and millions of others committing crimes, committing crimes. Where are, where, where, where our money, where our restitutions, where are my children? Where is Hamza and where is Matthew? Jonathan Muhammad Shaban and where is Yasmin, Jasmine, Madison, Let's, let, let, let me be kind, Shaban, where are they? Where are they? And are you still going to harass me and call me and say, Mr. Shaban, we're very concerned about the San Bernardino shooting and the, the, the terrorist attack that you guys are staging? Pounds? Answers. Answers, please. Thank you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestow mercy upon humanity. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.